If you are not a graphic designer, have no experience making any type of artistic designs online, and you still want to know how people are making money by selling coloring pages or coloring books on Amazon KDP, then this video is for you. Stay tuned because in this video, I am going to show you exactly how you can make a huge variety of different designs using only one software tool and for absolutely no cost. It's no risk and all reward potential. So you might as well check this out and see if you can follow along to make your first coloring page in a matter of minutes. Hey, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe because I am sharing everything I am learning about building online businesses in a variety of ways, starting with Amazon low content publishing. Today's video is really cool because you can use it not only to publish your own coloring books on Amazon KDP, but also to create and sell individual coloring pages or coloring sets for anything like Etsy, your own website, Teachers Pay Teachers, or a variety of other sites that allow you to upload and sell digital designs. Jumping right in and getting started, you can see that the one tool I'm going to use is Canva. If you don't have Canva yet, you absolutely have to try it. It is free, and of course there are upgrades with the pro option that I use and I highly recommend, but you can absolutely get started for free and do plenty of designs to get the ball rolling. Once you're logged into Canva, you can click on the top right to create a design, and for this example, I am going to create a simple worksheet US letter 8.5 by 11 right here. Now you can see that this has been suggested for me because of what I work on typically in the Canva platform. And if you don't see this option, you can always click here on custom size and type in change from pixels to inches and type in your own sizes. So in this case, a standard letter eight and a half by 11 and create new design. The first thing I want to note is that because we're using an exact eight and a half by 11 page here, we did not leave any extra room for margins. So if you're looking to create a coloring book, like for Amazon KDP, we cannot create full page designs that require a bleed print. And if you don't know what that means yet, that's totally fine. Just know that we don't wanna make designs that go all the way to the edges because based on this example, we're keeping it clean, easy, straightforward. And we haven't done the math to add the little bit of extra buffer that we would need for margins if our design was full page. So now we have a blank page and we have free reign of anything we want to make. I would recommend coming into Canva with a design idea in mind or at least a niche that you're interested in. So whether it's a child's coloring book or an adult coloring book, whether it's animal based or tractors and cars based, Figure out what you're interested in because otherwise you'll spend hours just sifting through Canva because there are more than enough options. The first thing that a lot of designers like to do is head to elements and put a simple border around the page, which will standardize all the pages. It'll make them look nice, neat, and tidy, and it'll make sure that you don't have to worry about going outside your margins. So to do that, all you have to do is click on shapes, and I'll click on the square here. Drag it to the size you want, and one thing that is nice is you'll see that Canva will make suggestions to pop up this purple square outline around where I'm working to suggest that this would make a nice frame size and would be even on all sides. But you don't have to follow those guidelines, and I want to make mine a little bit larger. What you can do is click on your left mouse cursor, hold down, and start scrolling, and you'll see that these guidelines pop up. And once I see this cross, I know that my square is now centered on the page. Of course, I want to make a coloring book, so I want everything to be in black and white. That will be A, obviously, so the customer can color in the pages, and B, it's a much lower printing cost on Amazon KDP than if I try to print a book in color. So it gives me higher potential to make a better margin, better royalties in my pocket. So of course, we don't want this whole square to be colored in, and all we have to do to change that is head up to this top menu bar, click what's currently in green, that is the color option for the inside, and we'll click this no color box. 
and then we will scroll to the right of that option where it shows border style and currently there is no border so we will create one it'll default to a thickness of four but we can change that we can make it thicker or thinner if you'd like let's leave four for now and one fun little option you can potentially add corner rounding so if you don't want just a strict square sometimes it adds just a little extra detail to round the corners a little bit so if i click out you can now see i have this nice border and we can begin a coloring design so i haven't thought too hard about what i want to make but it looks like i was recently designing something with a lot of butterflies so let's use that for our example here we're coming up on spring season so i'll type in butterfly and right away we can see i get different images and some do include outlines already so if you're not seeing the options you want you can type in maybe butterfly outline another good term is line drawing or sketch and those phrases will often help pull up what we're looking for in terms of lined objects that aren't full color now with just this alone, you can see how we're going to come up with a million ways you can take these designs and keep them as simple as you'd like or make them complex and make them your own. For instance, I can leave just this single butterfly on a page or and I'll click this duplicate page button so I don't have to redesign the outline everywhere. You can see that these two designs, which don't go together, actually look like they would be interesting together, is a hand holding a butterfly. So if you're looking for something a little more abstract or a little more artistic, maybe something that goes along with a peaceful or inspiring quote, you can put together two objects to make your own unique imagery. Another thing we can do here, instead of leaving just a simple, simple butterfly, because we do want to maximize our potential revenue, is we can go to the text option, add a text box, and you can turn this into something like an ABC coloring page or an ABC coloring book. So if I typed in the word butterfly and found a font, of course, if you want to do this completely free, you will have to make sure you don't pick fonts or designs with the crown because the crown is free for only Canva Pro users. But you can see how many options there are gonna be even for a free user. And once you find a font you like, you can add it to, you can add your phrase to whichever part of the page. So if I add it here, and if you want this to be colorable, which would be a fun little aspect you can head to effects and hollow it out. So whichever font you're using, you'll be able to do this to and make it something else that they can color on the page. And you can even play with spacing to maybe make the letters a little further apart because here the T's are kind of up against each other. But you can see how it's easy to add to the page and turn it into what you want. So if you do this for animals, letter A through Z, suddenly you have a coloring book of learning the alphabet with animals, which would hit a certain target audience. Or you could scroll down here, do something like this second page where I add a peaceful and inspiring quote here, and suddenly you have this entirely different design for an entirely different target audience. It has a different aesthetic, it has a different feel, and it could be marketed to a whole separate base which really expands your options. So that's all it takes. Obviously, these are two very simple, straightforward coloring pages. But when you multiply them and you add your own touch to them, and especially as you add a little bit more complexity by adding text or adding extra designs around the page, the books and even just the individual sheets can be sold on multiple different platforms and provide you a method of digital income on your own flexible time. When you are ready, you can click the share button, head to download, and you will want to download either as PDF standard or PDF print. If you are looking to have this professionally printed, either yourself or as an Amazon KDP book, you might as well hit PDF print. And once you hit PDF, I do flatten the page. It just tells me that it 
helps ensure it prints properly. Something about all the potential layers or fonts that may have been uploaded in the program. It's a little more technical than we have to know, but I do check that box. I hit download and it's there in your download file like anything else you download on your computer and you are free to use it however you want. So that's all it takes. That's it for today. I wanted to make sure that you had some of the tools you needed to truly sit down and get started. For those of you who have watched these videos and said it looks fun, but I don't even know where to start. I don't have the money for Creative Fabrica or some of the other great tools people talk about. This is how you can get started today. Create your first several pages, put them on a platform like Etsy or Teachers Pay Teachers, and then get a compilation that's big enough to be able to put together and publish as a medium content KDP coloring book. So if this was helpful or you want to know a little bit more about any certain steps in the process, let me know. Drop a comment below because I do really like helping others learn this process and I want to provide tools and resources that will help others get started as well. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates about how to continue making money from home on your own time. Until next time, bye.